All right, Coach. It's good to see you, man. Yep. It's yes, good sir. To see you again. Yes, uh, sir. Coach Young's been around here for how many years now? I'm in my sixth year. Sixth year. Well, now he's going to be the head softball coach out here at Gales High School. And we're glad to be out here today. It's a beautiful day out here in the field to stop by and see the girls practice for a little while. Uh, the girls have a lot of energy at practice, Coach. I've noticed they, they, they get through and, and they're excited to be out here hitting the ball. And he had some field problems and he's out here uh, going through that. But uh, it was good to see the girls out here getting after it. And uh, they're, they're, they're just, they seem anxious. You know, they're just ready. Coach, can we, can we you know, play? We're ready to go. So. Uh, it's good to see high energy out here today over here at Gelsel. So, without any further ado, March the 9th, we're going to do our softball baseball media days at Easy Street, Coach, and, and we want the girls to come and you, and uh, and we have a good time, and we aggravate the kids a little bit, and it's fun, and just to get some exposure for the kids in the county. That's kind of the main idea. Now, you just tell me a little bit about your seniors. You have three this year. One has never played. This will be her first year playing. Now, tell me about your, your tell me about those girls. All right, well, the senior girls they have a lot of experience here. They've uh, they've they've played for Coach Baker and did well uh, under him. Look, uh, glad to be back for them to be back. Uh, Peyton Bright, uh, more than likely, uh, will be shortstop most of the year. Uh, Anna Hartline uh, will be second base uh, starting out. Uh, so those are the two returning seniors. Uh, we have Star Mays, who's also a senior, who's never played softball in her life. She told me, but. Uh, <laughs> She's, she's picked up the outfield fairly quickly. Um, you know, some girls, some people are just gifted athletically to be able to pick things up. And luckily she's picked that up. Um, Good. Yeah, I know so, Star, notice it. So, uh, so once she gets down some uh, some more basics and type stuff, I can see her helping. Uh, one yeah, the, she hit the ball. One of the I main reasons I, 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 talk, I talked her into playing is because she's kind of fast and yeah. I, I figured, you know, I always, always needed some speed on the base. So th those will be our seniors there. That's good, and bringing those back. Now, you said you lost a few last year in some pitching, so the rotation's gonna be a little different over here this year, but Coach Young's got it figured out, and you know we look for them to be competitive in this region. Now, who's y'all's area? It's um, Bluff and Cusa? And uh, I think the area stayed the same as last year, which was, with, no, it was just uh, us, Cedar Bluff, and uh, Valley Head. Valley Head, okay. Yeah, just so it was just, just the three. Um, that's the last time I looked, but you got to pay attention to the state. Sometimes they'll, they'll switch things up Swap on it you. up on you. Yeah. But uh, so we look, our goal is always to be competitive. Um, the pitching, uh, we lost some of our pitching last year. Delaney Coker will be returning. She pitched some last year. Um, so she's she, right now she is scheduled to do the brunt of most of the pitching uh, we'll have andrea calvert who's uh both of these girls are juniors she'll be starting in center field but hopefully she can give us some good pitching uh some time on the mound as well and then uh, I, I i told one of my seniors peyton bright i said look i said i see you pitching and practice and goofing around i said may need you so I, <laughs> I, I told her so when it's time to go pitch she goes over there and i make her work with them just because you never know if the times of COVID, getting sick, the yeah. flu starting to kick back up. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. It's never a bad thing to have too many pitchers. We know it's that. It's never a bad thing. Baseball and football, that's kind of where the, the games are won and lost. you got to have pitching and try to make it deep in those, deep in those playoffs. Because we know in tough areas like over here at Gales on Cedar Bluff, you wind up running into those private schools uh, on down the line somewhere, and they always are going to have four or five aces somewhere hanging yeah. around. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the kids, uh, like I said, they – a lot of energy today. They they were all hitting the ball, feeling the ball well. Well, I think some of that energy is going to come from cabin fever. <laughs> it's been raining so much. There's only so much you can do in a hitting facility and inside a gymnasium. Yeah, right. So to get out here and to be able to get on the field, not slip and slide. Uh, so I think a lot of the energy just came with that, just being grateful to be out here, to be outside. It is. It's beautiful out here. Uh, today. Wasn't hardly a cloud in the sky during practice time of day. It was just it was a perfect day to get out here and try to be productive. Absolutely. Now. I seen some of you coaches here helping helping pitch. You had to go over here at first. Tell us about your style. So, uh, anybody who's come to Gales with softball the last few years, everybody knows Sandy Whelan. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. So Sandy Whelan is uh, she she's also she's going to be an assistant coach this year. So she's kind of my hey, this is this is what happened. This is when this she can help me with the lineups and stuff. Say you know last year to this year, who's grown some. Um, what to expect from certain kids in certain yeah. situations. So she's kind of good there. Um, she also works with our outfielders a good bit uh, to get them ready. The new addition this year is uh, Coach Ryan. Um, he just got hired. He's a new PE, elementary PE teacher. Okay. And so he's going to be here helping as well. 
And uh, so I have him working with some of our infield break when we, when we break down in groups. He'll be working with some of the infield or helping with the pitching and catching um, in that type of situation. Now, so where's he from? Um, he's from the Dogtown area. Yeah. Um, he taught. I can't know where he started the year. He's told me, but you know, it was Weaver Sack somewhere yeah. down that right. hole over yeah. there. But uh, closer to home, he got to move closer to home, and we're glad that he's here to help. Absolutely, it, yeah. And that's another thing. Pitching is never a thing that you can't have too much of. You always <laughs> need, and, and help. And help. Help. Uh, in this atmosphere uh, with young minds, it's always good to have plenty of help. It is, and uh, that, so I'm, I'm looking forward to them too helping me this year. I know they'll be good help. Another thing that this school has been blessed with when it comes to female athletics is the parent support. I was going to um, say, yeah. They, we have. It, I, it, if I ever need something done, I'll ask a couple of parents, and if they don't know what's going on, they know somebody who does, and they're always willing to help to give helping hands. And so that's that's another plus with this group. So when the parents are involved, it's it's always awesome. And then usually when a parent's involved, you got a great group of kids, and that's a great group of kids. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, uh, you know, and, and some of them still here hanging out. And they, I mean, they would probably stay out here and play the rest of the day, you know. Oh, they want to extend practice 30 minutes <laughs> at least. <laughs> they're, they're happy to be out here. Like Coach said, uh, the sun's shining today, and it's supposed to cloud up, and maybe tomorrow may be some more rain. So and I know games are kind of starting for some, and some have played a few little tournaments here and there. Uh, so maybe – Lord willing, and the creek don't rise like they say. When you get some games, when is y'all going to be y'all's first game? Our first, our, our first game, actually, our, our first game is a home game. It is going to be this coming Tuesday, okay. uh, four thirty. Uh, Woodville's coming to town. Okay. Uh, it's an old area foe uh, yep. back in the day, and we know Woodville well. They know us well. Yeah. And uh, so, I t I've talked to Woodville coach. He's excited to just get out there and see what he's got as well. You know, that first game can go either way. So they're turning some players too, or uh, young. I think they're pretty young. I, th I think they're about in the same boat we are. They're, uh, they may have lost a pitcher or two. So, yeah. I mean, um, it should be a fun game. But I, I, right now at this point in the season, I can't worry about what the other team yeah. has. I got to worry about what, what I got, got and who I can put in the – I told them, I was like, look, you may have been a first baseman your whole life, but if somebody's better than you and you give us a better option at third, you're going to have to go where you're going to help the team the most. Yep. Yeah, yeah, got to be a team player. Yeah. The team stands for together, everybody accomplishes more. Uh, yeah. You know, and, uh, and with these young kids, you get all that out here and you get it all put out there on the field and practice, you work and work, and then in game time, you know, well, it's game time. You know, the hay's in the barn and you hope that everything's <laughs> ready Tuesday at 4.30, be over here. Gillsville Trojans, ladies Trojans are going to kick it off over here, so come by and see them. And, uh, yeah, come see them new uniforms. Uh, okay. my, one of my seniors, the one thing she said is, I've never had an all-white uniform, and it's my senior year. I said, well, guess what? First game at home, we're wearing all-white. There you go. You so. heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, y'all come out here and check them out, Coach Young and staff. They do a great job over here. Field's looking ready to play, and uh, maybe the weather will cooperate, and uh, they can get everything in. And Tuesday, 4.30 here. Tuesday, 4.30 here versus Woodville. Versus Woodville. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time, man. Thanks we'll see you very much. Uh, March 9th. Remember, we yes, come out sir. of Easy Street about 5 o'clock, and we'll have an order laid out for you. I'll send you something. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys and get everybody out there together and uh, kind of bring everybody together and celebrate the kids and the coaches. Sounds All right. good. Thank you all. Yes, sir.